This social commentary channel is rapidly gaining popularity and its name is Moon. You have probably seen some of his videos and you might have wondered how can I make a video like him. In this video we will cover all the secret elements behind one of his videos. But before we begin you are going to need a script. The easiest way to generate a script is by using ChatGPT. However, the results may not be as good as you hope for, so you can either find the writer or write it by yourself. Moon's videos consist of mostly stock footage and images mixed with motion graphics. He likes to use motion graphics in the intro, which is the first 30 to 60 seconds. This way, you keep the viewer watching because of how eye-catching they can be. When it comes to music and sound effects, Moon does not pay much attention to how the music will follow the story, except for when it comes to mood change. We have to keep in mind that he uploads 3 videos per week, so it is only possible to focus on some aspects of the video. We will mainly focus on motion graphics, so I will recreate an intro from some of his videos. For this you will need Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and Photoshop, but only for removing background, so for this part you can also use free background removal apps, for example remove.bg. Adobe Premiere Pro is used to organize a video. Here you'll have a music, sound effects, videos, photos and animations. From here you can connect your After Effects composition where you'll create motion graphics. Inside the After Effects we are going to create. The film's message seemingly resonated with audiences around the world, but as we sit here in 2023, watching the already insurmountable gap between the haves and the have nots grow wider by the day. In the beginning we are introduced to a screenshot of a graph that gives us a visual presentation of facts that are being stated. Now this is not just a still screenshot. Here Moon uses a 3D way of representing a picture. When you import your screenshot on your timeline, you'll see transformation effects. Next to the name you'll see the 3D layer checkbox. Make sure you select it. Then you'll create beginning and end keyframes for X, Y and Z rotation. Also, include scale and position. In the end, keyframes add changes to the transformation effects of your animation. This will dictate how your animation will look. For scale transformation, add as much zoom in as you want. I'll increase it to 241%. The next scene is introduced with a transition. First, you take a transparent image, which we'll also use in the scene, and then by adjusting the position so it appears from the bottom, we can basically create a transition. Then you'll introduce the next scene by adjusting opacity so it goes from 0% to 100% at the moment that our image stops moving. In order to create this scene, you'll need to open Photoshop. You'll import the background image, which I'll find on Envato. You can also use Envato by clicking on the link in the description. Then add a year timeline and then export that photo and import it in After Effects. We are going to use position and the Gaussian blur effect. Select the beginning and end position keyframe and make sure that while opacity is increasing you have your image moving. Introduce a Gaussian blur in the middle but also remove it before your image stops moving. This way you'll create an identical effect like Moon. Next, draw a line using a pen tool and then by playing with trim pads and offset, start and end positions, you can create this line animation. Then by adjusting scale and opacity, you can create photo animation. After you add effects, you can create a composition from your layers and add minor adjustments like subtle scale and position changes. For the next intro, we are going to recreate his second most popular video. However, this time we are going to add a little twist. I am only going to cover the main elements that are present in the video. For example, this text appearing effect or counting animation. These elements can be very valuable, so I recommend you to stay till the end of the video. On your timeline, create a tie box. And then go to effects and presets and type numbers. Then drag that effect on your layer. Create beginning and end keyframes for size and value. 
the first keyframe will hold a lower number for size and a specific year for value. And keyframes will hold a bigger number for size and final year for value. In order to make your effect more visible, you can apply Gaussian Blur on your background layer. Then drag drop shadow effect on your text. For the distance effect, you will create the beginning and end keyframe. For the beginning keyframe, type 0, and for the end, whatever distance you desire. You can also add the glow effect, and by adjusting the threshold and glow radius, you can create this look. Finally, we are going to recreate text animation. For this, you'll only need basic transformation. Below your text layer, you'll create opacity and position keyframes. Opacity must have a shorter period between the beginning and end keyframe, while position will have longer. Opacity goes from 0 to 100%, while position goes from the desired start position to the end position. Finally, you can pre-compose all your layers and add effects like zoom in by using scale or other blurs and glows. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe.